So, damit kommen wir zur Achtelfinale Nummer 5 und wir kommen zum einzigen Starter Tschechiens hier beim German Darts Grand Prix 2019. Er hat gestern für eine große Überraschung gesorgt, als er die Nummer 2 der Setzliste Ian White bezwang und damit steht er zum ersten Mal in seiner Karriere im Achtelfinale auf der European Tour. Die Rede ist von Evel Charlie Karel Sedlacek. Allzu lange Zeit war eine Biene sehr bekannt. Von der Sprach alles weit und breit. Und diese Biene, die ich meine, nennt sich Maya. Kleine, freche, schlaue Biene Maya. Welt. Zeigt uns das, was ihr gefällt. Wir treffen heute unsere Freundin Biene Maya. Diese kleine, freche Biene Maya. Maya, alle lieben Maya. Gestern hat Karel Settlercheck die Nummer 12 der Welt geschlagen. Heute will er sich den Weltranglisten 14. vorknüpfen. Ein Mann, der schon zweimal im Viertelfinale der Weltmeisterschaft stand. Vor zwei Jahren, 2017, holte er sich seinen bislang einzigen PDC-Titel. Der Demolition Man Darren Webster! Radio's on and I'm moving round the place I check my look in the mirror Wanna change my clothes, my hair, my face And I ain't getting nowhere I'm just living in a dump like this There's something happening somewhere Baby, I just know The sound of Bruce Springsteen heralds the arrival of Darren Webster, the number 15 seed, onto the stage. And it comes immediately after the less familiar strains of this bohemian folk song that I am convinced I'll be humming all week next week. Uh, it's one of those things that just slowly burns its way into the back of your mind and takes over every faculty within your body and spirit and being. Uh, Settler check through to the third round, the final day on the Euro Tour for the first time in his career and if he's to go any further then you suspect he may well could do with being the beneficiary of some of the charity that came his way from Ian White yesterday. Ian White 4 from 36 on his doubles, an average of 81 I suspect however Darren Webster will not be in such a charitable mood, although Darren Webster, despite winning 6-1 yesterday against Nathan Derry, is still feeling troubled by this issue of tennis elbow in his right arm. He's been undergoing acupuncture. It was strapped up this morning. For Slayer Carroll to throw first, game on. And if it strikes at the inopportune moments throughout the course of this match with Karol Sedlacek, then the unseeded Czech may well have something to work with. He certainly has to raise his game from yesterday coming through despite registering only six doubles from a possible 30 85. and averaging only 79. It does not bode well if he doesn't step things up and he will have to. Paul Nicholson alongside me, Rob Belarkey for this one. Yeah, he will have to step it up but I was racking my brains yesterday because I wasn't commentating on that 100. much. I was trying to figure out a way of categorising it and you, you said it perfectly there. It was in my own strange sort of way, it's a smashy and nicey game, isn't it? 140. Because Ian White did a lot of work for charity, <laughs> and he doesn't like to talk about it. <laughs> he won't want to talk about that match yesterday. No, not at all. But Carol has been bouncing the last couple of days, just having a great time. And I'm like, yo, that walk-on song, I think we're going to be humming that a lot when we go to Prague in June. <laughs> and if that's a sign of things to come, it could well be very 
Eurovision-esque when we go there. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, he's making the most of this opportunity. He beat Diogo Portela 6-4 in his opening match. He averaged 92 that day. He played a lot better uh, than he did against Ian White. But I suppose for Sedlacek yesterday, it was all about coming through one way or another. Bullseye. 43. Darren, you require 70. Yeah, decent start to this match. Darren will be looking at tops now. Back down to that portion of the board where he hit Game the treble, and that's really good Darren from Darren Webster. Second leg and he Darren mentioned the pain in his arm. It, he Game said off. to Elmore yesterday when he won against Nathan Derry in that 6-1 victory that it was a good day because it felt good. And that says to me that Darren no, understands when he wakes up in the morning is that he doesn't know how it's going to feel. Yeah, Thursday, he was telling me before the Derry match, Thursday he, he could barely lift his arm to drink a cup of tea. Um, 100. And he told me, he said... If the darts don't find any purchase in the board, if I'm suffering a lot of bounce outs, it's nothing to do with the darts. It's because I'm just not able to Easy throw time. it in the way I want to. You can just see him there shaking that right arm. And I suppose in a way he may have to just, I mean, if it's a long-term problem, just find a, another way of throwing Six. the darts. It's not a good sign when you have to do that. I've been through that myself and I know that players like Yella Klaassen and Ron Mullenkamp have done that as well. They've had to make adjustments. 96. The action of Sedlicek, I've been studying it for a couple of days. I've been watching them for a, a few years now, but it's a very pushy action. There's not a great deal of hyperextension of 100. the arm. So when he propels the, the hand forward, it's, it's more of a pushing motion as opposed to a throwing motion. Well, if you are just joining us, this 100. is the first match in the bottom half of the draw. The lineup in the quarterfinals in the top half is complete. Michael Van Gerwen, two time defending champion, will face. Ted Everts in his first ever quarter-final, senior quarter-final, and Rob Cross will face Mensor Sulevic. Yeah, that cross Sulevic quarter-final is tantalising after the way they've played today. Fifty-eight. Darren requires sixty-eight. Darren looking to convert another two data in three for tops. 28. He's Can angry about that. He is angry because it has given Sedlacek a chance at this 1-2-4. He's now looking at treble 18. That would have left the bullseye, but it's not to be. 56. Devin, you require 40. And he's rapid to the hockey. He's a little man, but he does like tops, usually. 20. Not at the minute. Carol, you require 68. It's not going to be another game like that, is it? Where misses are plenty are going to give Sedlacek game the option, the and he's taking leg. the option. Well, it's a break back. When Sedlacek came through qualifying, he he beat a guy called Lukas Vaklavsky. One hundred and I think I got that right. Vukas. Vukas Vaklavsky. It looks like a, an L, but it's pronounced W. A bit more travelled than I am, Mr. Malarkey. 41. We well, beat him in the final game, and in the qualifier for next week, the same gentleman, who I will rehearse his name in the coming weeks, ready for Prague, One beat him in the semi finals. Forza Britain. And right. then said gentleman then lost to Pavel Yerk. Ah. 100. So oh, we'll nice see Pavel next week. Piece of symmetry there, yeah. Interested to see how the qualifiers, the home nation qualifiers, that is, go for the Czech guys 18. for Prague. Be nice. nice to see some some fresh blood. And yeah, definitely. Give some people some other chances. Uh, a little bit of mus uh, misfortune there for Sedlacek, but uh, it may well not matter because Webster is adrift on two, three, nine here, and Sedlacek is looking at 101. And he's now looking at 41. He likes that uh, double 16, double 8 area of the board. And there's the another day. reason why. Track, he's playing a bit more like he did on Saturday against Diogo. 100. Well, I had it on very good authority that the walk on music for Sedlacek is a bohemian folk song. I could not be further from the truth, apparently, because uh, somebody else has just tweeted me to 100. point out that it's actually from a cartoon. Not Google another cartoon. The Biene Meyer Alter Zeichentrickserie Deutsch. 
I think it's been translated into German from Czech. That's where you'll hear it. So it's not Pingu then? It's not Pingu. Oh, somebody will walk out of Pingu at one point. One Probably one Ricky three. Evans tonight. Yeah. Well, he was. I suggested Ricky, that Ricky, Ricky Evans, Evans won't do be walking it. out tonight because he got beat, of course, by <laughs> Ted Everts. But yeah, next time, who knows? Sedlacek just seems a bit more relaxed today, I think. 131. Sees a great opportunity in front of him. They've both got a poke at the big one. First oh. shot to Webster. 145. Second shot to Karel Sedlacek. Great effort from Darren, though. He would be hopeful of coming back, and he will come back. He's got to put those misses in the previous leg behind him. 25. Yeah, that's better from Darren. Player. Sometimes Darren when you have had Fifth multiple misses at a target, you have to change the target. On. Sometimes it happens naturally by leaving 25, but if you've got something like 50 and you've had lots of misses at top, change the scope. Doesn't matter how stubborn you can be, go for 18 double 16 or 14 for double 18. Just change the angles, change the shot. It can 95. really work. I don't know if you're familiar with the film Cool Hand Loop, by the way. The I'm not classic from the 60s featuring. I know it exists, Paul and I know Newman. there was some eggs eaten. Yeah, it's a series of bets. Paul McQueen and Steve. Uh, sorry, Paul. Uh, Paul Newman and Steve McQueen engage in a series of bets. The most famous bet is the one about eating 50 eggs in the space of one hour. Cool hand Luke 60. brags that he can do it. Uh, so he's challenged. And there's that famous line, nobody can eat 50 eggs. So they engage in this battle. Um, I only say this because I was at breakfast this morning with Darren Webster and he ate 81. four boiled eggs. Very swiftly indeed. And it just got me thinking, right, he's eaten four in the space of, what, 10 minutes there. 24. Less than 10 minutes maybe. He may well have gone back for more after I left as well. Are you a fan of a boiled egg? Not, not, well, not, certainly not 50 of them. I'm not a fan of them, and 95. I saw James Wade having one when we were getting the taxi back to the airport in Göttingen. I'm not a fan. I like him, to be honest, but I wouldn't eat. I wouldn't eat four. In, I wouldn't eat four in one go like Darren Webster did. Maybe it's just getting his protein for the day. It's a good way of doing it. Ninety-nine works very hard. Darren Webster still very active in his uh, day job as well. Yeah, Mervyn King was telling me that he. He went full-time darts for a very Can short period of time. Say so to go back to work because he was just too bored. Now then, Sedlacek. He's got it. Doubles 11. 102. Devon, you require 170. Well, he got two deep in this the last time. He's not even got one deep this time. 94. Sedlacek is playing Can so much better today. 22. He's causing problems for Darren. The winner of this one will play it. Home favourite Max Hopp or Kim Ibrex, and at the moment, it's looking more Sedlacek likely to be Sedlacek than Darren Webster. Well, this is definitely the step up that we talked about for Sedlacek today because, as I said, he couldn't afford to be as sloppy as he was yesterday against Ian White. 100. We've said on a few occasions, haven't we, about. If, one, if countries want to really boom in steel tip darts, they need someone to take it forward. Like Christopher Tyski in Poland and Mensa Sulevic in, in Austria. We're looking for those kind of superstars 55. in places like the Czech Republic, like Denmark, because Per Larsen's been carrying that, carrying that flag for way too long now. Someone needs to come through. But places like Hungary and further into Eastern Europe, they're boom areas for this type of action and I think we're seeing them get stronger before our very eyes 45 I hasten to say that that visit from Darren was ever so slightly lazy yeah he didn't look happy with himself at all as he went to retrieve his darts he looks a little bit agitated here Darren Webster he may well win this leg but he's not satisfied with his work so far and he's definitely not Calvary satisfied with that 66. either because Sedlacek is looking at 66 all of a sudden. Big chance. At Tops. Tops. 46. Darren, you require 40. Darren Webster lets off the hook. 
And having been less off the hook, he finds double 20 and we're level again at three apiece. I think Sedlacek has got to be a little bit careful here because over the last couple of legs, I've noticed his game is starting to speed up. He's being engrossed in a fast contest with Darren. Darren plays really fast. He likes to get back from the board really quick. He slaps those darts out of the board when he retrieves them. Look at that there with his left hand, just yanks them out the board. You can't wait to get back to the hockey, and you can get swept up in that rhythm. So you've got to play your own stuff. One hundred and forty. We have a very knowledgeable crowd out there, you know, watching this. We have more information on the uh, walk-on music for Carol Sedlacek, uh, the singer of the Bina Meyer theme song, is called Carol Gott, who is also Czech, but is singing in German. Well, they've got Shazam. One hundred and forty. I suspect they knew that anyway. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Good techers, everybody. 60. Davin, you acquire 161. Right, he's had a go at the 170. He doesn't need to go for the 51 here, but in a flash, he's got 105 to leave 56. And this could be a vital break for Darren Webster. If he does have arm pain, the one thing that's not going to help it is keep playing. Well, it's looking like he might have to play <laughs> again. Tops now for a 4 3 lead. Anguish for Webster. That was a really good chance for the break. He may well get another chance. Sedlacek, 82. He finds the 25. So 17 for Tops. 42. Just heard that little clip Davin of the wire. 20. Yeah, right in the top right hand corner. And that could well be the turning point. In a match of this nature, that is pretty much all it takes. A missed dart for Sedlacek at tops and Webster steps in and hoovers up you seen the bottom of the shirt of Darren Webster 97 at the back there yeah it's like a skyline yeah I'm not sure that's the skyline of Norwich it's not it's definitely not the skyline of Norwich I, I saw the Eiffel Tower there I think it's a, a collection of cityscapes merged into one there's no Norwich Cathedral on there there's no Carrow Road there's no Coleman's Mustard Factory either I like Norwich nice, nice place beautiful yeah, it's up there. One of my favourite places in England. One Beautiful and Twinned. Twinned with the German city of Koblenz. And I gave you that right off the top of my head as well. Yeah, you did. I, I can confirm that, Seriously. ladies and gentlemen. No Rob Malarkey Wikipedia just pulled there. that from the knowledge tree. Twinned with Ruon, Koblenz and Novi Shad in Serbia. Here's one for you. What, Town that I grew up in, Blythe, Northumberland. Yeah. Twinned with Solingen. Very famous for knives and cutlery. Okay. And pans. Very 60. good quality ones as well. Cavalry require 36. Well, Sedlacek from the Czech Republic looking at double 18 for a quick fire break of throw back and he takes out double nine and what a response that is and let me think about it fine margins again had he taken out that double 20 in the previous like this could have been a very very different story absolutely right and i'm looking forward to the world cup in a couple of months even more now because if sadlacek is playing i'm not sure who he's with playing with at the moment i'm not sure if it's been decided but you might not want to play the Czech Republic at the minute because if Sedlacek starts getting a bit of confidence as their captain, they could be really, really tricky to play against. 60. I dare to say I think it could be the most interesting World Cup that we've had because England will have Rob Cross. 140. Scotland's team, not sure if that's nailed on yet. Could be a few changes in a few teams and it might be a bit more open than it's ever been. Hashtag boiled eggs is trending, by the way. <laughs> 60. Can nice. we require 161? Now then, Sedlache looking at 161. This would do some damage, but it ain't going to go. 83. Oh, is that three going to damage his chances of taking this ninth leg? Needs to go bull here, you think? Oh, he gets the ball. Now, that three from that last one has robbed him of a chance of two darts at a double. It's only one. 
58. And he misses it. That three will cost him big time if Darren takes the 71. He's had a few troubles on double 20 today, as said Lacek. Webster shows him how leg. to do it. Devin Webster. Tenth leg, Darren to leg the seven, fifth. missed out at double Game 20. Off. Webster steps in. Leg nine, missed out at double 20. Webster steps in again. It's become a recurring theme. Now, Sedlacek did break back in between those two legs, and he has to break back once 100. again. Tall order. That last start from Darren was a bit lurchy. 123. I wonder how his arm's feeling, but a, a good response from Carell. Yeah, both players averaging around 60. about the 90 mark. Webster just under 90. Sedlacek just a little bit over at 93, but again... One of those encounters where I don't think really it tells the whole story. And also, neither player will be too concerned. I think it's been a cracking match. Doesn't have the averages that Gurney and Cross had in match three this afternoon, but this has been a good very battle. engaging. Yeah, just a really good battle between these two. Good mind games as well. And it is really encouraging how Sedlacek has really improved on yesterday. And he had to. I doubted whether he could, but... 100. He seems to have just rediscovered some sort of touch overnight. 58 away. Topsy once again. He's failed in his last Good two visits, but not on this occasion. And we are going all the way. And, and he has broken back for a second time. And first. it's Sedlacek who will be throwing first in the decider. And once again, third successive match of the afternoon going to the 11th leg. Game on. Uh, cast your mind back to the European Championships where Darren Webster was playing against Cristo Reyes. That turned out to be one of the most 100. crazy matches in the history of the sport. Where massive finishes were planted in from both Reyes and Webster. Webster may need 100. another last leg like that from Dortmund last October. Well, we've had six breaks of throw in this match already. 99. And if Webster can make it a seventh, it would be the number 15 seed who goes through to the quarterfinals on the European Tour once again. 140. Made the last eight in Hildesheim three weeks ago. That's his only quarterfinal this season, so he's looking to echo that. 100. Well, he did have a reputation for being a a second or third round specialist 12 of his last 14 Euro Tour events ending either round 2 or 3 slip up there though from Webster advantage Sedlacek massive advantage to Sedlacek now because he's on 57 Webster needs a, well I was going to say it, one more of those OK, he's down to 120, but he's reliant on mistakes from Karol Sedlacek. This is a huge story in the making Good on the European Charlotte. Tour. And ironically, it is double 20 that comes to his rescue. Well, what else can this afternoon's session deliver? Ted Evitz through to his first Euro Tour quarterfinal, his first senior quarterfinal. And just look what this means to Karol Sedlacek. An astonishing weekend continues for him. And we will be hearing that music once again this evening because Karol Sedlacek is through to the quarterfinals here at the German Darts Grand Prix where he will face either Kim Hybrex or Max Hopp. Two men who have tasted success on the Euro Tour before and this is a very special moment. And Karol Sedlacek is just savouring every moment and every play to him. Brilliant entertainment and a brilliant performance. Der Viertelfinalgegner von Max Hopp sein. Vorausgesetzt, er gewinnt das nächste Match gegen Kim Heibrechts. Toller Moment für Karel Sedlacek. Karel, unbelievable. Yesterday he was Ian White, the number 12. Now it's number 14 in the world. They are great results. It's no problem for me. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so so what, is, what is possible today? Uh, I uh, I'm feeling very well today, but yesterday I was very nervous, and for me today is uh, the best day of my darts, I think. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Uh, this leg to 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 five five twelve darts with the one eighteen check out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's good, but uh, then played uh, I think very well, uh, and uh, 
Uh, I I had the, I think two darts for legs, and I missing Dublin. I I see for me myself and uh, say uh, waiting for your chance, and my chance is uh, coming. <laughs> I am here. <laughs> Congratulations, Karen Zetlacek steht im Viertelfinale. Und nachdem er ein paar Darts auf Doppel ausgelassen hatte, hat er gedacht, komm, bleib ruhig, du bekommst deine Chancen. Und sie sind gekommen und er ist da. Und er ist stolz darauf. Gestern noch sehr nervös gewesen. Heute war das sein bester Tag, wie er sagt. Ja, Wahnsinn. Karel Zetlacek, wer hätte das gedacht im Vorfeld der Veranstaltung? Also in der Runde der letzten acht. Und jetzt gleich kommt das Duell. Ja, nochmal Applaus. Für Evel Charlie. Und jetzt gleich kommt das Duell. Belgien gegen Deutschland. Kim Heibrechts gegen den Maximizer. Max Hopp!